How's going everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you my method of making a volume light effect inside of 3D Studio Max and render it as a pass and compile, uh, compose it inside of After Effects or any other software you use it. So let's begin by taking a look at my scene here. Let me just go to perspective and show you my basic lighting setup just have a sun a motorized sun as you can see with a motorized sky portal so let's jump inside our or to our camera view and go to render under setup first of, uh, first of all let's disable uh, Final gather, I don't need it. Uh, photo mapping, I don't need it. Let's go ahead and set our resolution to something like just for testing purposes. Let's go to processing, uh, but before a render, uh, renderer, and go to I'm using classic and I'm using a very low uh, sampling. Here, point line looks fine. Let's go to processing and enable the material override. So let's go to our uh, material editor. Let's clear everything. Go to view and I don't want to expand my materials. And I'm going to right click and create materials, mount away and create a mountain shadow reflection material. Let's drag and drop it as an instance here okay everything is fine for now let's go to uh, render renderer let's go under uh, camera shaders select uh, volume and let's give it a party volume go back to our material editor and let's drag and drop our shader as an instance so I want to shim it in for now. Let's do a quick render to just see how my scene looks like. It's going to take a while. Probably not going to wait for it. And it's not what we are looking for. Let me cancel this. As you can see, this is just a white image, quite noisy image. So what could be wrong with our setup. Let's go to perspective. So the problem here is that I have my my motorized sky portal that I'm going to delete right now and go back to my camera view and do another render again. Let's wait for it. So, as you can see, we are getting something not what we are, uh, we are expecting, but something something close. So, how can we improve the result? Let's go back to our material editor. Let's double click on our shader party volume. I don't mess with uh, those settings. I go directly to my mean step and max step, and I'm going to lower this. Maybe five centimeters, and here maybe ten centimeters. So just to give you an idea, um, my unit setup is set to uh, meter, and to display you can set it uh, whatever you like. Uh, so let's do a quick render again. Now I did cancel the render; it's taking to too long to render but you can see we are getting something with our uh, base basic settings something that we can improve of course and the, the render time is way too long for me so what we could 
uh, we can do about it so let's first go to render and render setup go to our uh, sampling and lower our sampling maybe and change from the filter material to maybe those work fine and what could we do else so let's uh, so the main reason why my render is too long is because I'm using a uh, motorway sun and it's a photometric uh, light and as you know photometric light take too long to render so I'm going to create a standard light which is going to light standard and maybe a uh, standard maybe a motorway area or target let's just create a target light like this so with my light selected i'm going to align my light to my sun i'm going to align and align my light to my sun let me just take it out it's working fine select my target light okay and align it with my what is it again? Going to top view to my uh, what it's called. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. And align with this. I think everything should be okay. Nothing is okay. And I have no idea why. Let's try again. Align and align it. It's a little bit difficult to select it. Not my son. Mm, this is what. Okay, align. Is it working? Yes, it is. So select my sun and just delete it. Click my light and I'm going to adjust. Why I can't select? I can't select my. I'm going to adjust the light count. Maybe five, and maybe ten. Just something a little bit bigger than my windows. I'm going back to my camera view and let's do a quick render again and as you can see as you can see this time the render was quick but we don't get any result that's because probably I'm using an exposure control so I'm just going to disable it and also I'm going to you can just I'm going to clear my environment and give it another render, another try. So the render was quick. We are getting something, but that's not what we are looking for. Uh, with my light selected, where is my light again? This is my light. So why we are not getting the results we are looking for? It's because uh, by default standard light uh, doesn't have, doesn't cast shadow, so we have to turn on cast shadow and let's do a quick render again, as you you will see. So the render was quick, just 10 seconds, and we are getting uh, a nice volume light effect that we can probably improve to our shader, camera shader. So let's uh, let's give it more details. Let's go one centimeter by maybe five centimeter. Let's go back. And let's end again. Uh, 
and you can see you can see here we are getting a nice result with some uh, nice uh, details in our curtain and some nice volume light effect so if you are asking how my light is uh, is not how my my windows here and my curtain are not blocking the light from going through my interior i'm just going to select my curtain here and my curtain click right and go to object properties maybe and uncheck cast shadows so your object one will no longer cast shadow and will let the light go inside your room do the same for your windows I mean for your uh, glasses windows glasses let's go back to my camera so with that you can go back and set up your resolution and export your animation I have my camera animated here as you can see export your animation or if you are working with a single shot export your image and see you on after effect so i can show you how you can compose it so here we are inside after effect i just uh, bought my two images my base uh, render and my volume light effect that we did inside the UCB max so let's take a look how we can uh, compose it let's start my volume light and I'm going to change the blending mode uh, from normal to maybe something like add I found that add work uh, the best you can always try any other blending mode maybe light lighting doesn't seem to work uh, or this is not my volume light effect. This is my volume light. So you can see uh, this is lighting. It doesn't work correctly. This is add. It's all fine. I'm going to duplicate just to give you an idea uh, of uh, how the effect is changing our image. And go to opacity and bring this down a little bit. And you can see uh, before and after our this is before and this is after so let's do some color correction maybe I'm just going to create a effect layer I think it's called uh, layer effect and go to tint I'm going to give it a nice tint maybe dark uh, blue and here uh, a nice yellow so changing the blending mode maybe to something like something like uh, maybe something like lighting lighting I think it's so all combined screen no it's not working so let's stick with lighting <coughs> or light i don't know what it's called in english uh, let me change this maybe more back and here we are let's change change our opacity put it down maybe 30 Fine. and this is before and this is after and you can give it uh, whatever effect you like I just like to use uh, a tent effect to give it a nice uh, grading uh, color grading effect so that uh, was all for this tutorial hope you enjoy it hope it was helpful for you and if you want more tutorial just subscribe and 
see you in the next video